In the speed dating and station rotation activities, participants learn that the cross-cutting concepts can serve as a framework to organize several concepts or phenomena around a single theme. However, the cross-cutting concepts can be approached from another direction, looking at a single concept through different themes. In these two activities, participants first learn how a cross-cutting concept deepens as it develops over the K-12 curriculum, and then how viewing a single concept through multiple CCC lenses can yield different learning outcomes. In the first activity, participants will do what we call a vertical alignment of two CCCs. Basically, each group will receive the NGSS descriptions of what the CCC looks like at each grade band, which are cut into strips and randomized. What they don't know, however, is which strip correlates to which grade band. Their task is to organize the descriptions into a logical sequence that represents the deepening of that cross-cutting concept from kindergarten to high school. Once they have that sequence, ask participants to discuss their reasoning. You'll also want to make sure participants know the correct order, as they will be applying this new knowledge shortly. In the second activity, participants will view a single phenomena using two different CCCs as lenses. For example, if you look at a giraffe through a structure and function lens, you're probably going to take note of its long neck and how that serves the function of reaching acacia leaves. A pattern lens, however, might draw you to notice the giraffe's spots and how they serve as camouflage in the modeled sunlight around those acacia trees. This is a simple example, but the same logic can be used in designing lessons for students. Asking them to apply these different lenses to content will lead to very different learning outcomes. Now that the participants are experts in two cross-cutting concepts, they will apply them to a scenario and see what comes up using their CCCs as lenses. For this activity, we like to use the Academy webcams of the coral reef tanks, which are available online. But you could use anything, even something as simple as a picture of a giraffe. You can also encourage educators to think like their students. They can apply what they learned about what a CCC looked like for their own grade band. The take-home message from this activity is that the CCCs can be used for more than just a classification system. They can also be used to interpret the same phenomena in different ways, yielding different results. So at the end of this lesson duo, participants should understand that cross-cutting concepts increase in depth and complexity across the K-12 curriculum, and that the CCCs can also be applied to a phenomena as a means to see it from a different vantage point a choice educators can consciously make if they're angling for specific student learning outcomes. Don't forget to check out the lesson plan for this activity if you're interested in using it for your professional development workshop.